Ah, Laissez-moi vous parler d'Oussam Hamoud. Il a 30 ans et veut juste faire son travail de journaliste en sécurité. Mais il est syrien et la France vient de lui refuser son visa humanitaire, l'empêchant donc toute possibilité de demander l'asile. Pourtant, Oussam Hamoud travaille pour de nombreux médias français, dont Mediapart. Pour Mediapart, il a d'ailleurs enquêté sur Daesh. Oussam Hamoud a aussi apporté une aide précieuse à la justice française antiterroriste, tout ça au péril de sa vie. Aujourd'hui, il n'a pas d'autre choix que de vivre en Turquie, à Gaziantep, une ville où persistent des cellules de Daesh. Il est donc en danger, il a déjà été menacé. Nous avons réussi à le joindre aujourd'hui, écoutons-le. Bonjour, je suis Sam Hamoud, un Syrien journaliste de Maqqa, et maintenant je vis avec ma famille dans le sud de la Turquie, dans la ville de Gaziantep. Uh, I used to work as an investigative journalist, uh, writing about the Syrian affairs uh, in English, French, and Arabic also. Most focusing on uh, the Islamic State or Daesh uh, activities, and also the crimes of Assad region in Syria. Uh, starting from Syria in 2017, I started to work for the French uh, agencies. I worked for RT. I worked. Uh, for Le Monde in covering El Barouz battle uh, against Daesh uh, tourism group. Uh, in 2019, I had to leave my country due to the threats uh, to Turkey. Now, after three years or four years, almost four years, I feel the same threats right, uh, right now because, uh, for example, that I don't, I don't even uh, have an official press card right now in Turkey that allow me to work as a journalist to do my work. So there are a lot of threats, a lot of uh, especially linked to the investigations, uh, linked to Daesh that I worked with, I worked uh, on. So all of these threats uh, made me ask for uh, asylum from uh, France at the beginning of this year. I made two interviews for eight hours in the embassy, in the French embassy in Ankara, uh, at, the uh, at May and uh, June of this year. Uh, this, um, uh, this interviews include a lot of information, even unpublished uh, reports that they asked me more than once to share them with, uh, to share them the information under the charge of protecting <coughs> France from any possible attack or any threat. Uh, yesterday I received my, the refusal of my uh, asylum request uh, with no uh, explanation. So honestly, I feel that uh, I was used. Since I was here, when you asked me to protect uh, your country with the information that I, it took me a long time to, uh, to collect and to investigate, and now when I'm asking for protecting me that you uh, just send a refusal request without any explanation, so uh, no, this is a disrespect. My demand right now is just to uh, make the French authorities look again inside this request and understand the situation right now. Uh, since yesterday, the, thanks to the French people that support me, I took a lot of reason, uh, lessons in the democracy that I lost in my country. I never lived it in my country under the dictatorship uh, government of Assad. So I hope that this gov uh, democracy, uh, democracy will, uh, will be true and it will make change. I'm pretty sure of that. Alors on n'imagine pas que notre président qui annonce tambour battant des états généraux du droit à l'information laisse un journaliste comme Oussama Mahmoud en danger de mort. En fait, si, on l'imagine ou plutôt on s'en inquiète. Alors Mediapart et sa société des journalistes demandent que le visa d'Oussama Mahmoud soit accepté. Le contraire serait incompréhensible et inacceptable. Pour vous faire une idée de l'utilité incontestable du travail d'Oussama Mahmoud, n'hésitez pas à aller lire ses enquêtes sur Mediapart. Ce soir, on pense à sa famille, à sa femme, ses enfants. Plus largement, on pense à celles et ceux, journalistes, interprètes ou autres, que la France abandonne malgré les services rendus. Mediapart.